we got in my hand. What is that? Is that a sniper rifle? Yes, it is. And this is for all you Bushwookies out there. I got some gameplay for you, too. I told you guys I do a, a little bit of everything. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys, I, I decided to uh, hop on the Modern Warfare 3 tonight. And this was, like, literally the second game I played, like, half a match on, uh, like, Outpost. And uh, I was getting my ass handed to me. So I, I finally unlocked Kick Proficiency. And silencer, so I decided to throw that on my Barrett 50 cal sniper rifle, and uh, that's pretty much my setup. Is I'm, I'm using scavenger perk in the first tier. I have I definitely have assassin on, and then I'm using stalker because I'm using specialist. If I wasn't using specialist, obviously I'd be using marksman. But um, I like the ability to uh, edge around corners with sniper rifles. I use it kind of in a way like I would do an MK14. But I just try to stay really, really far from opponents because one of the one of the downfalls of using a sniper rifle is that guys in this game run so fast. A lot of times you can't react fast enough, and um, you know the guns kill extremely fast too. And look at this guy a hit. I thought I swear I would have got a hit marker right there. Not even a hit marker. But uh, one thing I want to tell you guys about snipers is you got to know how to move, and um, it really using sniper rifles does a couple things. If you know how to use them well, um, it can teach you how to read traffic patterns, it'll teach you distance from the enemy, it'll teach you cover, it'll teach you stealth, and it'll help you improve your skills on moving with your team, movement. And those are some of the real key fundamentals that I always teach on my channel. So if, if you struggle you know, with the assault rifles on you know, staying far enough from the enemy, you don't really know where they're coming from, try putting on a sniper rifle. I know, I know, some of you guys out there are going to say, oh, don't promote any more of these, you know, camping snipers. I don't know about you guys, but I hate getting killed by people with sniper rifles. It's freaking annoying. The guns in Modern Warfare 2, the guns in Modern Warfare 3, sniper rifles, I mean, just have, you know... It's just too easy to use them. I should put it that way. It's too easy to use the sniper rifles. Um, it's not so easy with the, with the silencers. If you've ever used silencers with the Barrett, you pretty much have to hit them in the shoulders or the head. And that's the only way it's going to be a one-shot kill. And um, I don't even know why I was using the silencer here. But it actually worked out in my favor because we ended up having the Charlie flag and the, and the Bravo flag. And I was able to sit in that back room and kind of shoot sniper shots at people without them knowing I was up there. By the time they realized I was up there, it was too late. Uh, you know, my the damage it would already be done. Right here, I ended up blowing up the truck. That damn thing almost exploded on me. But yeah, um, like I said, if you're having trouble with distance and, uh, you know, using cover and stuff, try using a sniper rifle because it kind of forces you to play a certain way. Like, you can't run around with the sniper rifles. And I know there's always going to be those guys out there. Ah, oh, I'm a quick scoper. I'm I'm a badass, and I kill 50 people every match. Hey, if you can do that, more props to you. But most people, including me, cannot do that. And this is the way we have to snipe. And sniping like that anyway isn't effective. I mean, sniping like this is barely effective because it's really hard to defend flags. There's only like a handful of maps I would even pull out a sniper rifle on. But um. Yeah, man, sniper rifles. Barrett 50 cal. Let's talk about some of the sniper rifles in the game. Barrett 50 cal is probably my favorite one out of all of them because it's an all-around sniper rifle. It doesn't have any weaknesses. It's really high damage, and um, you know I don't really see any faults to using it. You know you still have pretty decent mobility, not as much mobility as the MSR, but in my opinion, the the MSR when you put a, a silencer on it, like I like to do occasionally. I don't know. It just doesn't really hit hard enough for me. But when it's unsuppressed, oh yeah, MSR smacks. That's that's definitely one of the top. So uh, I was gonna say assault rifles. This is one of the, t the top. Ah, slurring my words tonight. The top assault rifles. Let's try that again. Jeez. But uh, right here, basically what I'm trying to do is you see me moving with my team. You notice how my team died off spawn, and I didn't even know this guy was gonna be here. <laughs> I just happened to aim outside, and he popped his little head out. But I'm basically trying to, you know, stay by my team and, you know, pay attention to where they're moving. I always try to keep a teammate in front of me, you know, to my left or my right. I never try to approach the enemy head on. You'll never see me on the front lines with the sniper rifle. And you'll probably never really see me on the front lines anyway, 
you know, if uh, I'm using a regular gun either, because that's just kind of stupid in my opinion. You know, there's a time and place to do that. Not, not uh, when you're defending though. And right here, I'm just sitting in this back sniper house. This is a really good line of sight. Looking out the doorway here, you can really see a lot of the enemies before they'll see you because you're so far away. You do have to watch out for other people sniping on the opposite team. And god dang, hit markers. Luckily, I have this MP9 backup. By the way, when using the sniper rifle, some people say they like to use pistols for the fast swap. But the pistols are absolute crap in this game because the submachine guns... <laughs> give you so much run walk speed and they kill so fast it's pointless run a machine pistol on your sniper kit guys make sure you use something that's capable of mid-range I personally like the MP9 um, I don't like the Kimbo's like the Kimbo FMG's because they don't have any distance to them and uh, this is as close as you get to having like a, a second primary like an assault rifle or something and that teammate that I just was in the room with me almost got me freaking killed man he was standing outside the window luckily it was him that got shot not me but I saw him die. I didn't know where he got shot from, so I just got the hell out of there. And um, you see me actually go back in here, and that guy was the guy that shot my teammate. Clean him up. Clear out the C-flag. Get a nice defense right there. And that's another thing I want to tell you guys. No matter what you know, play style you're using, if you're sniping, you're using a submachine gun, using the uh, you know assault, assault, uh, assault rifles, Make sure you're you're staying by the objectives. You're in position to defend if needed. You know, don't just sit in the back of your spawn. That's one of the most annoying things that I come up against. I finally die right after I get my Moab. I always die when I get my Moab. But that's one of the most annoying things is, you know, people with sniper rifles hiding in the back of their spawn, not attempting to push out. If you're going to do that, at least move up and help, you know, snipe off people that are uh, camped up by the flag that your team's trying to get but hope you guys enjoyed this be sure to leave a rating and also be sure to check out these other two videos that i'm putting up in my outro i put a lot of time into them so i'm sure you guys will enjoy them thanks for watching and peace